My name is Ken Gilliland. I'm a PhD student uh, at UCSB in the Ecology of Evolution, Ecology, and Marine Biology. And uh, I actually study uh, reptiles and amphibians, and so this is a bit of a kind of a, a jump for me in regards to doing some work on mammals, but uh, it was a good opportunity. I presented on the, the control of California ground squirrels using uh, self-resetting traps. And the self-resetting traps that I use are the Good Nature A24s. Um, and I deployed these uh, in three treatment plots, and then I compared the results to three control plots. And uh, the short story of it is I received an 84.5% reduction uh, in California uh, ground squirrels in the plots where I deployed them. Uh, I deployed four traps per plot um, for a total of nine days, showing that A24s in certain situations um, can be an effective means to reduce the population abundance of California ground squirrels. Now there's additional research that needs to be done to make sure that these things are not just specific to that one particular area, which I don't believe that they are, but uh, further research should be conducted before these things are rolled out on a, a grand scale. My primary goal was to look if uh, the A24 traps actually reduce the abundance of California ground squirrels, which was supported. So they do, and they are effective uh, by, by doing that. I also was interested uh, for my second goal to determine whether or not um, they were biased in the sex or life stage or size of ground squirrels that they removed. And it appears, um, based on my preliminary results, that they were not. And then third, I wanted to investigate the non-target impacts, which I did have some non-target impacts. I had some deer mice and uh, western harvest mice that were actually um, dispatched by the A24s, which, um, because it doesn't discriminate, um, is kind of you know to be expected. Um, but it doesn't appear that those um, impacts to those uh, non-targets would be really be affecting them on a population level size. Um, I set up the traps um, in some just basic plastic irrigation boxes. Um, and prior to me deploying the A24s, I pre-baited those boxes for about a week. And then after the, the pre-baiting period, then I replaced the, the pre-bait with the A24s and then found that they were effective. I just used basically a uh, generic oatmeal that you can purchase at the store and it was coated in chocolate hazelnut spread, um, peanut butter, and then I used a little bit of vegetable oil to emulsify both the peanut butter and the, uh, the hazelnut spread so that it was easy to spread on the oats themselves. My results indicate that they're effective, but you know, that could be species, or uh, excuse me, that could be site specific. Um, and so I don't think that research should end with the study that I perform, um, but there are many avenues that we could look at in regard to the effectiveness of A24s for reducing ground squirrel abundance. In regards to myself, I just find that they're really great to learn new things um, and then also meet people and make connections and uh, what they call networking which I'm not really great at, uh, but it still provides an opportunity where you have like-minded people in similar uh, fields with diverse backgrounds um, and puts them in one area so kind of allows for the flow of ideas. Yeah, so there should be a publication uh, resulting from the conference and it'll be the in the proceedings um, and I'm not sure uh, how soon those uh, proceedings come out um, but you should be able to find it on the vertebrate pest uh, conference website I'd imagine